Hey guys, welcome back. Jordan here with the Nutty Gnome Homestead. It is April 22nd, 2024, and we're out here by the greenhouse today getting ready to transplant a bunch of lettuce. This is a lettuce that is one of our favorites. It's a German variety. We grow it pretty much year-round. It's very slow to bolt. It's not really affected by the cold weather, so we do try to keep this going all the time, constantly planting a new batch. Today we're going to be transplanting it from our little six cell pots to get it ready to put out into our raised beds. But first, I'm going to give you guys a, an update on how our garden's been doing. So if you all remember the other day we planted a bunch of potatoes, we got our cabbage put in. Let me give you guys an update on how this is doing. I do believe every one of our potatoes we planted sprouted. All the way down. They've been hilled up twice, covered in straw, and they are looking really good. Over here. Let's go over and see some of our cabbage back there. Those cabbage are putting on heads already. Guys, it's April 22nd, and we've got cabbage putting on heads. This is great. Step across a few of our rows here. Look at these things. They're getting massive. See, they're starting to curl in on themselves. Starting to head up. I got some little ones down here a ways. Here's one. See that? These are early on a cabbage. Make about a two to three pound head, perfect for a meal. So, let's get back to working on the, the lettuce. Like I said guys, this is a German variety. We planted it for several years. It's heirloom, so we do save the seeds from it. It's got a really good flavor, really good texture. And we just like it. We grow a couple hundred heads of this a year. Real easy to grow. And if you guys try to buy butterhead type lettuce from, from the store, they're anywhere from two to four dollars a head, depending on where you get it and if you get the organic stuff. Sometimes it's more. So we're saving several hundred dollars a year. So I am a little behind this year. This is our raised bed where we plant our, our lettuce. I'm a little behind this year. You guys can see that the level of the soil is actually sunk down a little bit. I need to get some more in there. I got a volunteer here from last year coming up already. I'll put some more of our homemade potting mix in there. If you guys haven't seen that video, you ought to go check it out. Our homemade potting soil is just as good, if not better, than the yellow and green bag you can get from the store and a whole lot cheaper. Now this, uh, this metal raised bed, it's about six foot long by two foot, 30 inches wide or so. We'll get up to 75 heads of lettuce in here. I know that sounds like a lot, but what we do is we will harvest every other head, giving those remaining heads of lettuce plenty of time to bush out and get big. So, we're going to go ahead and get back to uh, transplanting this. Alright guys, so here we have our little six cell pots. Nothing fancy. We take our lettuce seed, we pinch them, we sprinkle them around in each of these pots. I don't count how many seeds I get into each one of them. I just try to make sure there's a couple seeds in each. Sometimes you miss one like I did right here. It happens, but there's probably 30 or 40 starts in there, maybe a few more. That's all right. We're going to go ahead and get these guys separated, and I'm going to show you how we do this. When you push a plant out of one of these six cell pots, whether it's a tomato, a cucumber, a pepper, lettuce, anything, you want to pinch multiple times to loosen up that soil. On the bottom, push up, and they come right straight out, guys, just like that. Now, I didn't water these this morning to make these a little drier and a little easier to separate. All I'm going to do is I'm going to crumble these apart. You guys can see that. That just falls apart. Now, look at the leaves. 
leaves on those. And all of our roots that we have, these are going to do real good. We got a trick for putting these in these four inch plant pots that works very well. We got our homemade potting mix here in the wheelbarrow. We got our four inch plant pot already filled up. You're going to need you a stick. This isn't anything special, it's just a cut off stick of one of my fig trees. We are going to take one of these lettuce plants, lay it in here, and with the stick we're going to take the, the root and we're going to push it down. Pinch it into place and there you have it. Nice and easy. You can do several hundred of these. You're not getting dirt underneath your fingernails. You do not damage the roots doing it like this. And we'll put three or four into a pot. Set them off to the side. One of our carrying trays. And I'll bring you guys in close here in just a second. Now so everybody can see exactly what I'm doing. like that. Alright guys, so I changed the angle of the camera for you so you can get a better picture of this. Here's our little six cell of lettuce seedlings. You see we got quite a few in each one of these plus the one that I missed. If I miss some that's okay. I know I'm going to get plenty of these seedlings. It's not really going to matter. Like I said, whenever we take the plant out of these pots you want to squeeze on these containers a little bit to free up the soil put a finger on the bottom turn the plant over push up and they come out see how nice that is now we do have a couple weeds in there that's okay this is all organic it's organic compost it's not been treated with anything just pluck those weeds out not going to hurt anything and since I have not watered these this morning watch how easy these separate you can separate out your weeds and you can separate out all of your lettuce starts now this works well the same way no matter what kind of lettuce you're planting whether it's romaine butterhead whatever you like to plant we're going to lay these down. We've got our four inch plant pot. Top it off with our homemade potting mix. And all we have here is a stick. Guys, it's nothing fancy. I didn't blunt the end or anything, as you guys can see. This is just a stick that we broke off one of our fig tree planting uh, trimmings, rather. And you guys can see. This uh, lettuce plant here is about three and a half or so inches long. You got all the roots all the way down here. It'd probably be four inches if we stretched it out. We're going to lay this right on top of our four inch plant pot. On top of the soil that we put in here. And let's see if we can't get it to focus. There we go. We're going to gently hold onto the leaves with one hand. And I'm going to take this stick and I'm going to push those roots right into the soil here pinch it in place and there you go guys there is no need to get your fingernails dirty whenever you do this you're not going to break this we're not getting aggressive with it the soil is nice and loose like I said you guys should really check out our video on making your homemade potting mix it's a lot cheaper and a lot better than the stuff you buy from the store we'll put three lettuce plants in each one of these pots. Now the next time we up pot these or transplant them, they're going to go right into our raised bed. Five weeks from now, we'll be eating lettuce. Six weeks maybe. So I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of these guys up potted. 
another one of these plant pots. Now if you don't have these 4 inch plant pots that's fine. I've used yogurt containers, I've used solo cups, I've used just about everything under the sun. It doesn't matter what you put it in. As long as you got plenty of room for the roots. Wow. There's a nice, nice plant right there. So let me adjust the camera a little bit, see if I can't get a better angle on this. I'm going to lay the root right on top. Take the end of our stick. And we're just going to push that lettuce plant right into the soil. And do it again. Guys, you're not going to tear off the roots unless you get real aggressive with this. This is a real gentle way to plant these. They tend not to suffer from transplant shock when we do it like this. This also saves space. We use these little six cell pots. We plant a lot of seeds in each one of these pots. We cull out the dinks. Everything else will separate out and plant. There was 10 lettuce plants in that one cell. All right, guys, we just finished up. It took me about uh, five or seven minutes total. We ended up with about 90 plants total. As you can see, I still got a couple more down there. I haven't got potted up. But we're right around 90. If you guys haven't tried this method of transplanting your lettuce, it's real quick. You can get a lot done in a short amount of time. It does not hurt the plant, and it's very effective, guys. So if you guys don't mind, I'd appreciate it if you'd uh, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments or suggestions for future videos, please let us know. You guys can let it, uh, leave a message down below or contact us over on Nutty Numb Homestead on Facebook. Guys, it's beautiful out here. Get outside, enjoy the weather, and get planting. Till next time, y'all stay safe.